All right, what's up guys? I get a lot of questions uh, through my Google Plus or whatever on uh, my tools that I use when I post some of my work videos. So we're gonna go through it really quick. Um, this is my like everyday diagnostic bag. This is a Vito MB uh, meter bag. Um, on the very front pouch here, the little small one, this is just various jumpers and stuff for uh, jumping systems out and uh, um, bypassing door switches and stuff like that. Um, the next Velcro pouch here, I have my uh, wire strippers, a little uh, crescent wrench, some a little pill box with various wire connectors, wire nuts, and screws, and some needle nose that are completely jacked up because I used them for brazing one time and they melted. Um, that's it there on the side pouch here. I have a little razor blade and an SPK2 for checking temp splits and ambient temperature. That is turned on for some reason. On this side here, I have some nylog for sealing refrigerant lines and fittings, and also a lighter when I do my fireplaces and stuff like that, and a shrinking shrink tube. Um, that nylog is leaking really bad in that pouch. Um, on the zippered pouch, part of the pouch here, I have my headlamp, my SC260 electrical meter for doing quick simple little diagnostics, checking caps, amperages, and voltages. Um, I have a 5 16th, a quarter inch, and a multi-bit screwdriver. So that's it for my everyday, like, quick diagnostic bag. Right there. That's it. That's all the tools in it. Voila. Nothing special. This is my Vito Tech Pack backpack. On the very front here, I have some zip ties. Have some jumpers in that pouch on the zippered part. We'll open this up. This is where all the magic happens. I have my rechargeable headlamp. This is the big boy right here, very bright. I have an infrared thermometer because I use this bag for a lot of my commercial jobs and I can't get a ladder to reach to check duct register temperatures. This is my SC440 uh, field piece meter. Checks inrush and all kinds of awesome stuff. It's an amazing meter. I have a wrench here that is really small, but it opens up like super, super wide. I guess you get the picture. Uh, my Klein multi-bit screwdriver, nothing special. Another SPK2 for the same reason, checking ambience and temperature splits. Bottom here, I have a thermocouple for uh, like a vibrator, temp splits and stuff for freezers. At the bottom here, I have my stubby multi-screwdriver and also my air flow balancing thing for checking CFM and velocity. Down here, I got this little thing, ratcheting thing for like uh, Phillips head bits and stuff. And also in the same pouch, I have my big step bit and my little step bit. And there should be like a little magnetic thing or something, all a little ratchet piece of shit. I think sucks, came from our freight. Um, I have a little 3 8 uh, ratcheting wrench or whatever right here, a gear wrench for blower motors. I've got some dikes. I got a small pair of uh, channel locks. These come in handy for like everything. Um, wire strippers, again, some needle nose, a 5 16 nut driver with a magnetic tip. Uh, same thing, but this one's a quarter. I got an Allen wrench set, a magnetic pickup tool because I drop a lot of shit inside of units. And that's all there. And then in this pocket here, I have long extension bits. One's a 5 16 nut driver for my impact drill. One's a quarter and one is a Phillips bit. That is it for those pockets there. Here I have my thermostat screwdriver that I like to use, a razor blade for various things. And then I use this right here for cutting pookie tape and stuff off of sealed coils for furnaces and shit. And also when I do my installs, this really, really works well for uh, breaking free the tar asphalt stuff. Multi-wrench, 45 degree angles, whatever. Um, I got my field piece psychrometer. Uh, another little flathead bit that I use on thermostats. Uh, this is used for my blade puller, hub puller. Um, I just hooked this up to my impact wrench and everything goes nice and smooth and comes off real easy. Um, I got some stubbies 
These are stubby, 5 16 and 1 quarter inch um, nut drivers. Um, on this part of the bag, we have a 3 8 wobble socket for uh, my impact drill uh, made by DeWalt. So these like, they bend and get into weird positions and stuff. So I have three of those. A 3 8 5 16 and a quarter. This right here, this is for my service wrench for pumping down units. And this is for using my sockets when I want to hook them up to my impact wrench or impact drill. And these are various little bits that I use, you know, little Phillips and one is like a multi-bit where I can switch them out. That's that. That's all there is there. On this zipper pouch here, I have electrical tape, my alligator clips for my meter, and my little popper for tracing low voltage shorts. And this piece of shit right here. This is supposed to be a Schrader core tool, but it does nothing but break down. Piece of crap. I use Appion when I uh, do vacuums. And usually in this pouch here, I have my short gauges, but those are in my truck right now. On the side, I just have some pens. You flip the bag over to the back here, and you unclip it, and unzip it. Voila. On the back side, I have various drill bits. This is my masonry bit when I got to uh, attach conduit and things like that. This is for drilling into plenums so I can check static pressures with my pitot tubes that are over here. And in this zippered pouch here, I have various um, gas pressure and manometer uh, fittings in this pouch right here. Um, I got a little mini hacksaw thing so I can get close quarters on cutting things. I have some PVC cutters. This is my field piece manometer, which I don't like it. I, I mean, it's a good manometer, it works well, but it's just, it's fucking huge. So I'm looking to get something different. Um, here's my sockets, nothing special. This is a tackle box thing that I got from Walmart. This, house, this side houses most wire fittings and stuff. And then you flip it over to the other side, this is a whole bunch of different screws and uh, gas fitting and mini split. Uh, adapters. Nothing special. And this is my rigid impact driver. So that is uh, <laughs> my tools that I carry. I use that little bag the most on my residential and I use this bag right here typically when I'm doing my commercial jobs. Nothing special guys. Um, the veto bags though, what I do got to say, <laughs> you cannot go wrong with a veto bag. Great warranty, very, very tough bags. I actually, a lot of the times when on my, on my commercial jobs, I'll be working on a unit, I can actually sit on this bag, sit on it, and it doesn't bow, bend, or anything, I don't fall off of it. You can sit on these bags, so it makes the job a little bit more comfortable. Obviously, you can't sit on that one, that's just a soft pouch, but that one, the backpack, you can definitely sit on, and it makes the job pretty comfortable, so that's what I use on my jobs, y'all. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Later.